Uh, I know, Chloe. It's been a super long adventure. You're very tired. You kind of look like you're strung out on crack right now. But that's forgivable because we've been through a lot already. Guys, welcome back to Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We made some new friends. Well, at least one new friend. Nosy the Elephant, who I kept referring to as a he, but upon further research, I'm pretty sure it's a she. But, you know, whatever. It's the kind of thing where, like, maybe all elephants are males. Kind of like how all boats are females. It may be biologically not true, but I don't give a maybe shit. Maybe it's been a while, but elephants are smaller than I remember. You're probably used to seeing African elephants. These are Indian elephants. Oh, yeah? What's the difference? Smaller. Smaller, yes. Sort of a double term on the skull. But they do have one thing in common. What's that? They'll both stomp you flat if you get near their cough. Point taken. I wasn't gonna do nothing to the cough, okay? Just wanted to say hi. I saved your life and fed you like three apples or whatever the hell they were. So, don't give me your shit, nosy. But have fun living out your elephant life. I'm going to move on now. We've got some big old steps here. Where could they possibly lead, guys? Probably more stuff to climb is going to be my guess. Nice of a sav to leave some supplies for us. Mm. Load up if you need it. Good call. It was nice of him, wasn't it? Okay, so over here we have a Type 95 and C4 that we don't need. Um, I have a silence pistol right now, don't I? I should probably, probably just keep the stuff I have. This looks like it's going to be like a single shot rifle kind of deal. I might want to keep that and try it out. I don't know. Let's see what's in here. I'm glad that most of these that we're finding out only have two locks on them. Because lockpick minigames are cool, but this one has kind of worn out its welcome. It hasn't evolved at all throughout the course of this game, you know? I really liked in... Oh man, was it Oblivion, I think? The fourth Elder Scrolls game, where they had like different difficulty levels of the lockpicking minigame. They went from, like, easy all the way up to, like, expert, I think. Ooh, an arrowhead. I don't think I ever did get to try that out, and I wanted to. This one, I believe, is a fully automatic weapon. I'm gonna take it with me. Now, I think we're supposed to go running up here, guys, but I feel like I see a climbing path up there. And I don't know if I can actually reach it, but I've got to try. It looks a little higher than what I can actually jump up and grab right now, so I'm not sure how we get there. Definitely a climbable material right there, though. You guys see that? There's some hand holdies and a place where we could stick our baton. Just don't know how the fuck to get there. What if we climb up here? Up here. Aha! Is that a bird on the branch that I'm about to rope to? And is this actually the right way? Hold up. Over here we have... Oh, check this out. Didn't say a single word about it, but we took the picture. <laughs> All right. I don't know if that spot in particular really needed a picture, but sure. And we have a collectible somewhere close. Probably right back there. There it is. Okay, that is a Raja Raja Gold Kahavanu. I guess that's currency? Cool. Alright, so this is the right way. I guess I was about to do it backwards, honestly. Oh, there's another one. Holy shit. And that is an Agate gemstone box. Ooh, Agate. So the reason I like that so much, guys, is because <laughs> I think... I think there's a place in the game Okami called Agate Forest. That might not be exactly right, but it's something like that. And that's a game I've been thinking about lately, because they're about to re-release it on new consoles. Like a... That was terrible. <laughs> like an HD version of it. And I'm totally going to play that on my channel when it comes out in December. I love the hell out of that game. And it's a game I had actually been thinking about playing for quite a long time. But I just didn't really feel like hooking up my PS3 and recording off that, because that's a real pain in the ass. So, the fact that they are making this new HD version 
for modern consoles is pretty fantastic. And I'm definitely going to play the ever-loving shit out of it. And because I was rambling on about other things, I tried to jump to that ledge over there, which was not correct. I think we want to come up here. I'm not sure how Nadine's going to get up here, because she seems to be stuck right where she is for the moment. Oh, here she comes. She'll get here eventually, I guess. Um, this place is actually kind of confusing. Where the hell am I going from here? Oh, here we go. I almost didn't notice that. I was like, I could jump down there, but then I'd be right back where I started. That's not helpful. Monkey! Oh, I scared away the monkey. Sorry, Nadine. You could have seen your monkey, pal. But you were just a little too slow getting up here. I have a feeling this thing is going to break as soon as I jump on it, by the way. Actually, probably not. If I take a look around at the environment here, I don't think it's actually set up to transition into, like, an action set piece. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, okay. And Spider-Man over here. Ooh. That was very uh, precarious right there. A wet ledge. Grabbing onto a wet ledge like that and pulling yourself up. Yeesh. Hey, upstairs. I see light through the water. Oh, look at that, guys. Wow. Chapter 7, The Lost Legacy. Hello, Belua. You know, it's not every day you get to see a totally hidden city that nobody else has seen for centuries. Apart from Asav. Apart from Asav. And a few of his men. And a few of his men. <laughs> You ready? You just totally crushed that moment. You know that, right? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Nadine knows. What do we get in? Nadine no, don't no. care. Looks like dwellings along the side. So let's go up. Oh, man. That is a beautiful shot right there. That's a picture worth taking. I gotta tell you guys, man, Naughty Dog, they are, they are masters of their craft. Nobody makes backdrops like they do. And I guess that's not even really a backdrop. I think we're actually going to be climbing around that place once we get there. So, damn. Alright, Nadine. Come along. Continue to crush my spirits. What? Oh, fuck. So did that dude just call me a half-breed? Pretty sure that's what happened. That's a pretty fucked up thing to say. And I definitely want to murder all these guys for it. But this is tricky. Jesus, what is the right play here, guys? It's like a stealth climbing sequence. These snipers are going to see me as soon as I go anywhere. Okay, let's go down, maybe? If we stay low, we have a better chance of not being seen. He's looking up right now, so... Okay, okay. Ooh. Oh my god. I don't like this. If I do get seen, I am not going to be in a good spot. I don't really have a prayer of taking these dudes out. Before they just snipe me and I fall from the edge. Okay, back jump, back jump. Oh, no, 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 no. Go down, go down lower. OK, 
Okay, here we go. This is a better play. I was just gonna back jump and try and grab these surfaces here, but yeah, this is smart. Come on. Come on. <sighs> so, okay, that guy does move. The sniper looks up. We may actually be able to swing over there without being seen. It may be possible. Not sure. We're gonna have to try. I could just shoot these guys in the head. That might alert other dudes, though. No. Let's try and remain stealthy as long as possible. Look away, dude. Look away. Ah, he's coming back. When the dude on the lower ledge moves to the right, I don't know what his line of sight is. Right there is probably my best chance. But every time he does it, the sniper's looking down here. Oh, I can hit the grapple from the... Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Move, dude, move. Move, 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 move! Fucker! Okay, look up, sniper. Here we go! That's not good. Oh, I can't believe that works. I can't believe that worked. Okay, yep, figured there'd be dudes in here too. Over there. I see him. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, can I carry grenades and C4? Nope, I just switch them out. Fuck that noise. Okay, now this dude. Jesus! No! Okay, that works. Fuck. Yeah, these dudes have some heavy armor, so they're gonna take a lot of shots. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to the dudes who were up on that balcony. <laughs> I guess they're dead. Man, I didn't see that other dude back there. I was doing okay there for a second, guys, and then it all fell apart. Oh, shit, oh, shit. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. They're coming over here. Okay, what do we got? Ooh. Never really used this gun before. I think it's noisy though. I have the, I have <laughs> yep, it's noisy. <laughs> nice scope though. Oh shit. Okay, let's do this. Nope. Land on the roof. Inside the balcony. No! Oh! I was trying to grab the ledge as I rolled down, guys, and I thought I was going to fall to my death when I didn't grab it. So that was scary. Look at him just give up. Look at that shit. <laughs> Ah, uh, the C4 doesn't really have the range that the grenades have, though. That's the problem with that, guys. Alright, I'll take this back. Oh, shit! We got them! By the what?! Side. Damn it! Dude! That was right on that dude's nuts! That's some strong-ass armor they've got, I guess. Gotcha. Saved! Haha! <laughs> now I'm the one who saves Nadine. Oh, damn! 
<laughs> dude, I came in there like I was about to manhandle that dude, and he had another thing waiting for me. <laughs> yeah, let's keep the C4, I guess. Ooh, P90. Actually, there are more grenades here than there are C4, I think. So... So I thought there were. Wasn't there another one laying around here? Maybe not. No, I still have one more grenade than I had C4. Okay. I'm good now. Let's move on. Oh, that dude has a rocket launcher. That fucking sucks. I need to kill him immediately. Oh. Serious armor on that one. Okay. Oh, he's a buddy too. Oh, that complicates things. So, what I really want to do, guys, is try and swing over and do an aerial takeout, but I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, three of them. I didn't throw far enough. Fuck! Grenade! I uh, still got one of them at least. I can't see now. Come on. Yeah, that big dude. Oh, we, we've go, got to go, grenade go, the go. shit out of him. I have this. By the wall. Shit! Grenade! Uh. No Ugh! Oh. Damn it! Oh, he's a he's a dude who can't be meleeed. Okay, I'm gonna die here. I'm gonna die. No! Oh <laughs> Everything that could have possibly went wrong there went wrong, guys. I was trying to melee the other guy, and she just kind of magnetized back to the dude with the armor. So, yeah. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Why was he down that far this time? Did I get him? Nope. Still alive. Time to move. Oh my god, take cover! Fuck! Got him. Okay, now I have the big gun. Oh! Jesus, man. Stop rocketing me! Please! Great. <laughs> I can't shoot him in time, guys. It takes too long to pick up the gun and aim. Fucking asshole and your unlimited rockets. Alright. Now it's time. That was a huge mistake, brother. Oh my god, there's like five more dropping down. Big guy! Got him! <laughs> Wait. Okay, yeah, he's dead. I'm pretty sure there's still one more up there somewhere. Ow! Motherfuck! Motherfuck! Well, that got nuts for a moment there, guys. But I'm glad I got to utilize the big gun. Ooh, shotgun. Yeah, I figured there'd be shotguns, because I'm pretty sure that's what this dude down here hit me with. And this guy just kind of dropped out of nowhere. Do we have more ammo, though? That's the question. Mm. Mm. Razor, there's a door over here. Nah, I guess not. All right, Nadine, I'm trying to loot. Can you give me a second to loot? Is that okay with you? Yeah, that encounter was kind of ugly, guys. I gotta tell you, sometimes I really don't like the way this game uses context-sensitive 
button prompt things. Ooh, that was a grenade launcher right there. Oh, yeah, that's what that dude up here had. How many shots? Six? Oh, that's good. I should take that. Because they'll actually let me take that through the door. I don't think they'll let me take the big gun, but this one I can take. But yeah, like, there was certain moments there where, like, I was trying to go into cover, but it's the same button as roll. So, like, you try and take cover against a little fence here like this, and you end up rolling off of a ledge or down some stairs, right into the face of the big armored guy with the giant fucking machine gun who's just blasting bullets at you incessantly. And then you try and punch a dude, and you kind of end up magnetizing to another guy, which isn't, like, a contact-sensitive thing, but it was still annoying. And it was just badness all around. But it's Back. over. We got through it. Back to it. And Nadine just vanished. There she comes. <laughs> that was weird. Ah, let's see where this goes. This game is definitely still uncharted in the way that they just keep ramping up the combat difficulty, just throwing more and more crazy shit at you. Not here again. Must be a way into the city somewhere. Must be. Oh, there's a swinging point. I don't think I can reach that from here, though. How about we start over here? Ooh. That was pretty interesting, though, having like a stealth Whoa, sniper sequence. Guess Asav couldn't find an entrance, so he made his own. You'd think Asav would have more respect for this place. A sov only respects a sov. That ledge with the waterfalls. That's the way forward. Yeah, why would you think that? Nobody has respect for this place. Nobody. Not a single person. Not even the people who say that they do and act like they do. Like me and Nathan Drake. We'll still blow the shit out of anything in our way. We destroy things all the time. I don't know why anybody acts like there's any kind of reverence for anything. There never is. Ever. Ah, there's a collectible somewhere. Never Very close by. It's a shame in a way. The Lord's hidden from the world. Now I know why. Can I get up there? There's a grapple point right there, but I can't get it from down here. Just move forward, I guess. Maybe we'll find it. Uh, yep, okay. Let's move forward here. There we go. I was gonna be pissed if I couldn't find this. Because <laughs> the bracelet had activated in like three different spots. It's like, it's a real taunt, you know? We got a Lakshmi marriage ornament. Ooh. That's actually quite pretty. Now here's the real trick. Backwards jumping through a frickin' waterfall. Thanks for waiting, Nadine. Let's move on. I want to find some more big armored dudes so that I can blow them up with my grenade launcher. This sounds very therapeutic right about now. There's another gold. I'm guessing it's one of the Hoysala kings. How many kings did they have in their day? Eleven. The young king was the last in their line. Well, his plan worked. Saved his city from the Persians. <laughs> yeah, by sacrificing an entire other city. Although I guess if you don't care about that other city, then it's not really a sacrifice. That was weird. The first time I tried to jump up here, it didn't let me, so I was like, okay, I'll look for another way. <laughs> I just had to come back when they were done talking, I guess. <laughs> Where am I swinging to from here? Just... Ah, up top here, I see. I was like, this is where I was before, isn't it? There we go. Up this way. But this is where I couldn't reach last time. <laughs> Nadine sounds like she's starting to get tired. <laughs> and so does Chloe. From the looks of it. 
can't stop now though, we've come this far. I won't let Asav get away with his dastardly plan. Although all I really care about is the treasure. But still, if we can stop a bad guy at the same time... And that right there was Naughty Dog sucking their own dicks a little bit. <laughs> Our level design just keeps getting better and better, guys. And in case there was any doubt this was Balor, Lord Shiva. Plus Mandy. And I'm guessing that's Ganesh. At least before he got his elephant's head. Could be. Might also be Kartikeya, Shiva's elder son. He's the Hindu god of war. Sounds like they chose different paths. Huh. Katakeya, is that what she said? I don't remember killing that dude in God of War 3. <laughs> oh, that new God of War game looks really awesome, guys. I'm gonna play that on Damn my it. channel. They've blown the entrance. That must have been the explosion we heard. Gotta be another way in. Probably, but there's also a collectible somewhere nearby. Right now, that is priority number one for me. Down here. I know I felt a vibration. Oh, like right here on the steps. My controller vibrates. Bell chimes. It's so close. Aha! Hanuman Brass Bell. You know what would be really cool, guys, is if they actually gave you just a little blurb about the items you're picking up, like real historical facts about these items that they're letting you collect in this game. I would totally read those. I think it'd be really interesting. I want to know, like, what some of this stuff actually they're is. They're trying to slow us down. Yeah. <laughs> well, they've done a good job because I don't know where the hell to go from here. Looks like maybe we can climb up in this spot. Oh yeah. <coughs> in here, Nadine. Ugh. Tastes great. That actually wasn't all that hard. <laughs> we blew the main door, but we left the window open. The window that was ten feet to the left. Uh, great work, Asav. I see him. Okay. Alrighty. We've got dudes, we've got a collectible. I'm gonna try and save the grenades for the big armored guys. Because I'm positive there's gotta be more of them. Done. Let's go. Oh wait. Oh, damn it. Shit. They've blocked us again. It's a big city. There must be another way through. What is this? Oh wow. Place? A bath or a well? Possibly both. <laughs> I didn't realize I was on a timer there. I was just gonna wait and see if I got like a chance to do a sneak attack. Wonder if I was supposed to kill them and then just run right through there. Oh well, There's gotta be another way, right? Deeper here. I'm probably got to swim. Look, there's some air bubbles coming up from the pool. Yeah, I know. And here is an enameled betel box. See, like this. What the fuck is a betel box, guys? Nobody knows what that is. And I'm not going to Wikipedia everything as I play. That just sounds tedious. <laughs> okay, deep diving. Going over this way. Probably going to be dudes up here. I don't know. It is surprisingly empty. Look up. We're in some kind of cenote. Cenote? That is a word I've never heard before in my life. <laughs> I learned so much playing these games. Over here. Coming. But as I was saying, I could stand to learn even more. Okay, there's something in the water over here, I think. Or back here? I'm like very close to it. There it is. This is a jeweled pipe mouthpiece. Oh, that's pretty self explanatory. We found a pipe and a hookah so far. <laughs> These guys are all a bunch of druggies.
Huh, look there. The queen and her handmaidens. Maybe these were the royal bards. Some statues of women for a change. Oh, she wants to talk more about that. Okay. Women actually played a big role in Hoysala society, particularly the queens. Not surprised, with the kings and men going off to fight all the time. They were also involved in the fine arts, poetry, music, that sort of thing. Balua was their city, in a way. <laughs> Nadine's like, yeah, I'm not impressed. 